Okay, let's talk about PBR material. PBR, physical base rendering material. Uh, it is uh, physically accurate material that you want to uh, create realistic, realistic material. You have to use these materials. And uh, for better rendering, you can use <clears throat> physical rendering. If you are going to the standard and physical, not Redshift, because Redshift is <laughs> complete in another system. If you're holding your mouse <clears throat> in a material, we have new PBR material. Not new, but means uh, new PBR material in uh, this scene. If you click, this is an PBR material. If you double click, it's uh, like old version of Cinema 4D material editor, but not very old. <clears throat> what you can see, it just uh, activate reflectance channel. If you insert a simple standard material, this is a material standard. If you open that, you can see it has a color and reflectance. Uh, <clears throat> In, if you want to uh, work with a real physically rendering material, you don't have to use color. You have to use reflectance channel <clears throat> to bring your color texture and reflection texture. Okay, to uh, it's a method that physically based rendering works. Okay? I don't want to go very technical, but don't assign your texture in a color. Assign your texture in a reflection. Such as these materials, they tell the PBR material. They have a lot of <clears throat> maps in them. Texture, normal, displacement, uh, rough material that control reflections, Fresnel or Fresnel, uh, everything contained in this to make your material more real, more realistic. <clears throat> they call these materials PBR, nice. Okay, so we have PBR. Uh, let's <clears throat> bring a display uh, plane here. And for rendering the PBR material, you have to use a PBR light. If you're going open here, we have a PBR light. It's a simple area light with just changing the settings. It's not, it's not very in new thing. Drag and drop PBR to material here. <clears throat> uh, going to the light, you can see it has uh, in a general, <clears throat> the type is area and the shadow is area. The area light is nice, uh, physically accurate for rendering. And in the details, <clears throat> The fall off is inverse square. That's physically accurate. I explained them before. You can refer to the light system. Just the simple area light with a uh, <clears throat> shadow is area with a specific settings that you, uh, gives you more realistic material to render. So this is PBR light again. It's here. So again, PBR is the like standard material, but we have to work in all channels except color. If you want to change your color, you have to go to the reflectance channel. You can see this is a reflection channel. I explained it before. You can launch them. But we have two channels here. One channel is a diffuse. In this case, diffuse means you have to assign your texture in diffuse just that's it and the type is lambert uh, it, it, this uh, lambert diffuse okay you can see uh, this is a beckman these are for reflection that they have we have a default reflection it's automatically <clears throat> this is just a standard material but the maxon changed the settings to uh, PBR matter uh, settings. Okay, this is a Beckman. I uh, tell you before, the Beckman is most physically based, and <clears throat> these are for diffuse for uh, simple reflections. You can see such a distance on an object. For a default diffuse, you have to insert your texture 
here because the type is uh, lamber and in the diffuse and the layer color here you can change your color if you want to change your color here or if you have <clears throat> a pbr texture that it's a lot internet for example polyhaven.com it has lots of texture free look at this if you download pbr texture pbr material uh, you have a lots of <clears throat> map like this extra you can see for example, this is a metal plane. <clears throat> this is a metal texture. For example, all these black and white control roughness, control metal. For example, uh, metal. In uh, the white part, we have metal. And in the black part, we don't have metal. It's controlling uh, that <clears throat> parameter with black and white core. These are famous normal map channel you can see you can for example i like more just gl and this is rough the roughness is controlling reflection on it uh, on your uh, objects and this is an ao ambient occlusion it's a simple shadow in intersection object i explained it before so <clears throat> first uh you can see i tell you before for the texture you insert your texture in a layer color simple load in a texture <clears throat> and it is in diffuse they call diffuse channel if you in download internet and they open oh i don't want to copy that and this is your our first look for better understanding that i have interactive render and you can see <clears throat> And now it's nice and physically accurate. Nice. And now we have to insert other texture for creating PBR. And now you can see the brightness does not change anything because it's controlled by texture. <clears throat> this is a diffuse done. <clears throat> and we insert our texture here. Now let's uh, change the reflection. Uh, in a type is a Beckman. It's a more better physically accurate type of reflection and we have two way you can control the reflection you can see it's completely rough if you make it zero, it's zero <clears throat> we have a completely smooth surface that's completely reflect environment or if you increase the number of roughness if you want to <clears throat> create for example non-metal things you can do in that right click you can control this roughness different roughness for example you can make it 100 <clears throat> percent and you can control uh, roughness if you open that with a texture black and white code so you tell for example in one <clears throat> in a white part we have 100 percent roughness in a black part we don't have any roughness load image in the texture you can uh, activate uh, you can open a roughness you can see it's a black and white code let's see what happened here nice you can see in most parts we don't have <coughs> reflections so or you can uh go into the texture and if you want here you can invert this image i explained it before for example black uh, part make it one and uh, white part make it zero and it invert you can see <clears throat> we have now more reflection or you can reset it if you don't want if you satisfied with this re reflection okay or you can clear that <clears throat> in a roughness you can right click we have roughness like this or you can insert again in a default reflection in a layer color of that <clears throat> in this case you have more control to change the roughness and then you can control roughness again with this now it's the same result but it's a better idea that you can control the roughness here better. Nice. You can see. 
nice so it's better to give that <clears throat> rough texture in uh brightness in a the, the layer color and texture to control which part we need more reflective and which part we don't want to more reflective so something like that nice <clears throat> Or you can invert it if you want. So I think right click in this case is better. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's insert other uh, material. Look at this, it's a nice PBR. We are making a PBR texture. Okay, in this case, we have a normal map. We can use this. <clears throat> uh, let's first bring displacement map. You can see our plane has nice divisions, nice segments for better displaced. <clears throat> and in displacement, uh, change the load image. It's a black and white image. I explained it before. This is a displacement map. And look at the changes. Nice. <clears throat> but it's too high. And make sure that you activate the subdivision and make it a higher number <clears throat> nice and the height is too much you can change the height of your displacement now it's better nice and you can insert it's a real displaced <clears throat> material uh change the, the polygons but the normals is fake and it's a you, they use a normal for micro details on the object and let's see what happened if you insert a normal map from here yeah we have normal map you can make it large to see better it's a normal map. i think this one is better and you can see it's now we have micro details and the objects nice if you want if you want you can flip that in the y no in this case uh, i think no or you can insert another normal map something like that Let's change it hmm i like it more so nice don't we don't have any bump but if you want you can activate that okay in the displacement you can make it a little uh, higher <clears throat> two centimeter yeah it seems better yeah better division nice or in a reflectance again you can make it more reflective because it's a metal <clears throat> mm -hmm. nice and another important thing that you have to change is, uh, because uh, it's no change because it's automatically uh, brings in for you it's a fernel or fresnel uh you know it is metal the direct is not metal and the conductors are metal things because we know it's a metal if you want or it's like a ceramic you can make it the conductors and we can see how the renderings completely change the fernel is very important and in the preset you can choose for example this is an, an iron plane and it's rendering iron for you nice or you can go to layer color and in this case if you want you can for example invert your make it inverted one invert your plane and zero and i want to change the roughness and that's nice because we are very strong light you can see something like that but you can reset it to I think the roughness is better in this case. 
So the roughness is controlled, which part is more reflective and which part not. So that's it. This is an PBR uh, texture. We are using the diffuse color in here and the reflection there. And you don't need to change any of them. And uh, two layer is enough for us. You can add more layers, but don't be confusing them. You know, in, in the internet, we have a lot of texture that uh, you have to render to see the better quality of that. You can see, you, we can net normal here. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to see the displacement here, again, I told you, you have to activate the tessellation here and going to viewport setting. <clears throat> uh, where was that? Illumination. Uh, and uh, here is viewport tessellation. You can insert one of them. And now you can see displacement directly in a viewport. And you do not render that. So another thing, don't use the color. Go to the diffuse channel and texture, reflection here in a reflection layer color for controlling uh don't assign roughness here because you can control the roughness directly here but if you <coughs> assign the roughness here it's controlling the roughness uh, assign the roughness map that control reflection in a relay color and you can see in a fernell it's also you can change it, which matter do you want direct click they are not reflective like Woods, anything that you want, or plastics, or if you want, you can make it a conductor. And from the presets, you can choose which preset do you want, which metal, or which, for example, non metal things you can milk, a beer, or rub, rub, or anything that you want, water, or anything that you want. You can change it, it's such as for now. Fernal effect is very important for make your material very natural and real. I explained it before and that's it. Please don't forget to visit our tutorial says apps channel. In this channel, we are introducing Android application and learn how to use them.